Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be talking about this question, does mathematics always have to be real world when we teach and learn it? So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts about this, and I'm going to give you a spoiler alert, I'm going to say no and be really controversial. So if you want to hear my reasons why I think no, then please keep on watching. Okay, so why do I think that mathematics doesn't always have to be situated within a real world or real life context when we're learning and teaching it? I I think that in many situations, mathematics is all around us. And yes, we can apply it to a real world situation or real life situation so that students can see mathematics all around us. And I think mathematics is not only about seeing patterns in our surroundings, but it describes uh, our surroundings and our environment in a abstract way sometimes. But some of the reasons why I think that all mathematics learning does not have to be situated in a real life situation is because sometimes we actually do want to develop problem solving skills and critical thinking skills through puzzles, uh, through different problems that don't necessarily have a real life situation. And I'll give you an example. One of my favorite learning experiences of all time was created by my dear friend, James Tanton, and that is Exploding Dots. Now, Exploding Dots does not have a real world, real life scenario. It does focus, however, on deep understanding of the base number system. And other learning experiences include looking at how Martians count and how different base number systems work. And if we pose that kind of problem or situation to our students, it is not a real life context that we're asking them to engage with, but it is an authentic context. And so what I want to stress is that in mathematics learning, it's so important that we situate the learning within an authentic context, which doesn't have to be real life and it doesn't have to be real world. Another really good reason that educators have given me about why all mathematics learning shouldn't always be real life is whose real life is it? You know, if we're looking at the real life of a four-year-old compared to an 18-year-old. They view the world in such different ways and they have different perspectives about the world around them. And so it's very difficult to always situate mathematics in a real life situation. Now, I want to stress again, this doesn't mean that we launch straight into symbolic form when we're teaching mathematics. There needs to be a context. And I would say most of the time there is a real world application, but we just want to make sure that it's authentic. I was watching a keynote speech by Dan Meyer a few years ago, and he gave the classic example of how mathematics is sometimes artificially inauthentic, especially in our textbooks and in the resources that we give our students. So one example that he showed was it was a picture of a dolphin in the sea. There was a trapezium drawn over the tail. And the question was, what is the area of the dolphin's tail? Now, he asked, why on earth would we actually want to find the area of a dolphin's tail? There is no practical use for that. And I think that that's a very inauthentic way to show the value of how mathematics really helps us to understand the world around us. You also see lots of those problems about a thousand watermelons, you know, and 500 cantaloupes. And that, again, is very inauthentic because unless you're a farmer that is harvesting 500 watermelons, I suppose, to a child and their world, it's not very authentic for them because unless they are a farmer, that is. So we have to really choose our scenarios, our provocations really carefully, I think, when we're trying to help our students make sense of the world through the lens of mathematics. And ultimately, mathematics is a vehicle to develop critical thinking, to develop those problem-solving skills, and to also be able to develop and engage intellect. So... 
I would love to hear your thoughts about whether you think mathematics should always be applied to real world situations. I know that this is probably quite controversial, what I'm saying, but I just want to stress that we want authenticity and we want provocations and scenarios that actually pique students' interest and motivation. Okay, thank you so much for joining me again this week, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.